on the last 928 wide body video, we worked on the front end and began the creation of the front turn signal lens. You can find a link to that video down in the description, or there might be a card up here as well. But this week, we're going to work on the rear diffuser and this rear end of the 928. Now, the goal is to create a diffuser that is both functional but also looks aesthetically pleasing. So this morning when I came into the shop, I spent some time sketching what I would like to see the rear end and diffuser look like on the 928. Now, we did quickly realize that there's a problem with that. So this is a sketch I came up with, and you can see that we have our two side channels here for the diffuser and a center one as well. Well, it's up nice and tight to the body, which is where we'd like it to be, but there's a big challenge there. So underneath the 928, there is the fuel tank right here, which actually hangs below the bumper, and there's the battery box right here. Now, if you want to relocate those things, we can make a lot more room behind the bumper, but we're opting not to do that for this build, so instead we have to work around it. So that makes it a little more challenging because we have to have a certain slope that leads up to here. So we're gonna have to kind of retool how we're gonna approach this. So what we're gonna start doing right now is I'm going to mock up the center channel with some cardboard, a good old CAD, we used some CAD work this morning, figure out how we can make it work around what's underneath and make it symmetrical, and then we're gonna build off of that. So the diffuser is supposed to not only displace the air smoothly behind the vehicle, but also create downforce by almost like creating a vacuum through a Venturi effect. So we need to figure out the angle that we should be using for the diffuser underneath the car, and that's going to determine how far down we need to go and what we need to do to make it work. So now I'm gonna do some good old Googling to figure that out. There we go. So we have our under tray here. This is gonna be the center piece. Uh, we said the first iteration mock-up, I should say. <laughs> now, the bottom here we're intending to be completely flat. And then the back part here, we intend to be about seven degrees. Seven degrees is like the safe slope that you can use for a diffuser without it being too much or too little off the bat. Now, we are not building a track car. We are not trying to be the most efficient here. I need to say that because I know that there are ways we could improve upon this. We could do a curve gradient and everything else, but we're not doing that. This is supposed to be a, a quick balance between performance and aesthetics. So this will do something for sure. And it's a good starting point. And it's also cardboard. So that's gonna change also. So I have the diffuser I made as close as I can to the body. So what I did was, Tony, I took welding rod, I attached it to the spots on the body, stabbed it through the uh, cardboard, then I have these clamps here so I can clamp it and then I can slide it up and down and change the height so I can figure out where to hang this thing so it's not cl like colliding with anything on the uh, body. It looks like a piece of cardboard strung to the bottom of a car. Yeah, because I have <laughs> imagination. <laughs> I think we lean into those hollows that live under the taillights and behind the wheels there in the original bumper. I think in its natural state, the 928, that's not as obvious, mm -hmm. but I think, you know, I think we lean into that it's and like accentuate bones. it. Yeah. It's got like little mm -hmm. cheekbones. Yeah. Tony's referring to these like humps that go right here. Yeah. Across. Yeah. And how we should maybe slide this down to match that. I'm just thinking about how we do that. This is a Porsche. And in typical Porsche fashion, we will decide what we want to do and whatever it takes to make that happen, <laughs> that's just what you do. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> My life is chaos anyway, so I just go with the flow. <laughs> this Burger King cup's probably been here for like three weeks. So. <laughs> How about I just kind of mock this up here, take a photo of it, and we'll sketch something out. Yep. And then revisit. So Eastwood sent us an upgrade to their regular TIG 200 with the TIG 200 LCD. It's smaller, it does pulse, there's a lot of functionality in this thing, and of course it has a giant LCD screen on it. The big thing about this is we're going to be using this TIG welder and putting it through its paces in the next couple of videos because we have a lot of metal work still to be done on the 928. But the best part about all of that is we're going to be giving away a brand new Eastwood TIG 200 LCD to one of you guys. So stay tuned in upcoming videos we'll be giving one away. Yes. <laughs> that was spicy. <laughs> that was a little spicy on the hand. <laughs>
All right, design pro tip. Take a photo of what you're working on, put it into any image editing software. I'm going to use the GIMP software, which is free. Cut out your car. So I'm gonna do that now quick. After you cut out your car, you're going to print it out, but make it very transparent and black and white so you can very faintly see it. And then once you print it out, you have a nice ghosted image to sketch over top of, and then you'll know that things are proportionally accurate or, you know, you're set up for, for success. Here, so now I'm going to, you know, make this actually be a diffuser on here and then draw how this, this segment right here, I need to make this be a thing and not a void. Yeah. So, shall we? So this is the sketch that we came up with, or I came up with rather. I kind of like the idea of having a shelf that runs across the bottom. Um, Tony and I talked and we want to actually bridge a little bit here. And this is cut back a little too far, but it's like kind of like the silhouette we're going for because there's that chin there. Now, I am currently going through here with some aluminum filler rod to try to mock up how this is going to run actually on the car because like we've talked about many times in this channel, having a drawing does not mean it's actually going to work. So what I'm doing here is I'm mocking up with wire and tape and these Clico clamps are super helpful for this and I can unclamp and move things. But I kind of like where I'm headed right now. I have this slanted in slightly to kind of match that edge or like complement it. There's a radius here that's gonna kind of match that radius, match this radius kind of thing here. Imagine this kind of punched in a little bit. There was one challenge though because in my drawing, I wanted this plane to actually be, end up here and it's not physically possible because this is like the, the bottom edge of the rock or anything else, so I can't go below this without looking kind of weird. That's what I'm kind of he headed towards right now. I haven't shown Tony yet though, so we're gonna have to see what he says. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about food, I'm kind of hungry. It's not even lunch time yet, is it? No, it's I not. not. It's way past second breakfast. It's 10.51. It's, it's way past second breakfast, that's what I said. <laughs> Completely missed it. I didn't miss it, I was in Oregon. Even. Second breakfast is the second most important meal of the day. What's the first most important? <laughs> breakfast. Checks out. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like throw a curveball and say like dinner or something like no. that. No, <laughs> I, I would skip that. I skip that often. <laughs> it's a great diet. Conceptually, what I'm trying to work out in my head is I don't wanna lose the 928 in what we've got um, right now. With the wire, it could feel as though we're adding a whole bunch right here, but really, most of what's here <laughs> yeah. is empty space. It's a shelf. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's empty you, space. You, you so. can store your Hot Wheels cars in there if you want it to. Yeah, you can do that. I, I think from the side, that will probably translate pretty well. Yeah, just from the rear, I don't want to feel like we're bulking this up. And like I said, for the most part, most of what's here is empty space. And so the options, I guess, are I could just try rough it in metal. I could also make a, like a lattice of heavier wire behind that and do clay work. And that'll really tell us. It's right. the most time intensive though. Right. Yep. Although, as we've said many times this channel, going straight right. to metal work could end up being way more time intensive if it doesn't yep. work. Right. Got to make a base for my uh, clay to sit on. Quick and dirty. I want to spend a lot of time on it. I'll be underneath the clay anyway. For those who ask, like every video, this is Chavant branded clay. This is their automaker version. Highly recommended. And no, I was not paid to say that. <laughs> but they want to pay me to say that, I will.
reminds me of from this angle. Uh, General Grievous. The cheekbones <laughs> and like it coming down and there's the eye on the side. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> General Grievous is badass, I'm sorry. Yes. I know he was a bad guy and he had a very short stint in the movies. But the best bad guys had Darth Maul, General Yeah, Grievous. they all die so fast. Right. <laughs> I wonder how like people are getting tired of this, this process. Nothing, the sketch, the clay, the metal. Nothing, <laughs> the sketch, the clay. The process metal. is the same, but the result is something new every time. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And we're progressing pretty quickly. I'm just gonna say it, for doing a professional quality build on YouTube, we're progressing very fast. We have a fast food cup sitting on top of, well, you like that? No, it don't. <laughs> if you don't like that, you should play count the cups in the shop right now because I have a problem. All right, here we go. <laughs> One, two. Um, I'm counting this. It's not a cup, it but a drink, it is. It was a drink period that's yeah. not finished. Yep. I mean, like, this is not a table. <laughs> it is, it's flat. Why wouldn't they make it flat if it's not a table? Wow, you're just a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> so we were at three. Four, five, six. Oh, here we go. That was the gross one. Uh, oh, wow. That should count as two, but we'll count it as one, <laughs> seven. Eight. <laughs> nine, ten. One still has ice in it, though, so you know it's fresh. Okay. I think we're at ten. I am, however, very hydrated, so. <laughs> yeah. That's well, amazing because nah. only, uh, only half well, of any happens. of these drinks have been consumed. <laughs> I usually say I got it. I'm gonna level out this here. I'm gonna put a rod through there, attack it here, so that I can build this out to the center so we can visualize from center over. I think it's important. Yep, I went a little overboard with it. I know left, I, I put it on low for a little too long. Yeah, you've got clay soup. We'll just. We'll eat around it. <laughs> I let them cook for too long. I guess I, it, I lose track of time when I'm doing this stuff. Kind of get absorbed into it. <laughs> so now what do I do? Huh? What if you put your, uh, all those chips in there that are- That absorb the heat? Yeah, that are room temperature. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I got my, my chocolate shavings. <laughs> kind of pack them in here, let them yeah, absorb the might. heat some. People ask a lot, is that clay reusable? Yes, it is, see? And I'm proving it to you right now. You're seeing it live. <laughs> Just put some aluminum foil over it. Yeah. Nobody will know. We're gonna pretend this isn't here and this is the nice smooth flow because obviously everything changed. Yeah. But that's where we're at right now. A rough clay design. And I went halfway up here just to kind of help visualize what it'd be like going across. Now, the back edge of this clay probably will go back further down in. We're, we're putting on our, our visualization caps right now. Our squinty eyes. Yeah, the old squinty eye. <laughs> yeah. I think it, this is a good balance of not being too aggressive, but it still makes a statement. It works around what's behind it. Um, it kind of balances out. If you look down from like from here, down the side of the car, you can see the, the vent behind the wheel, and this kind of go, go together. It kind of just works in my opinion. And very important, it retains the 928. We don't want to yes. lose the 928 in anything that we do. So anyway, moving forward, we need to figure out what material, what we made here is going to be made out of. Like, are we gonna make it all composite? Is there gonna be a break in some metal, some composite? And that's going to define if we can do the rest of it in clay, if we're gonna remodel it in CAD. There's so many options here. Also, the cardboard diffuser needs to no longer be cardboard as well. So once we're sold on that, we're gonna use three millimeter thick aluminum. We got 5052 actually, it's my table right here right now. My little stage, you can hop up one here and you can do a, do a little jig or something. I know. I, you gotta I start your shoulders. Start your shoulders and then start, go down. Oh, shoulders. Shoulders down. Your, yeah, yeah. It's like a wave. 